Welcome to Untwisted, your source for tips and tricks when it comes to spinning yarn. One of the first things you have to learn when you begin spinning yarn on a wheel is how to tie on a leader. The leader is simply a length of yarn which attaches to your bobbin and feeds through your orifice. This gives you a place to begin and attach your fiber. Now, you could simply tie your yarn in a knot around the bobbin, or some bobbins are designed with a special hole which you can insert the yarn into. If you're clever, there's a better way to tie your leader on. First, you have to choose a yarn for your leader. You can really use any commercial yarn or even a hand spun yarn. The most important factor is to choose a leader yarn that is the same thickness of the yarn you want to spin. Don't get me wrong, it won't kill your spinning mojo if your leader is thicker or thinner, but the difference in size can make your new yarn slide off of the leader yarn, which can be extremely frustrating. I like my leaders to be between 24 and 36 inches. If it's too short, it won't reach to the orifice. And if it's too long, it will take up valuable space on your bobbin. We're actually gonna cut a piece of yarn twice as long as what we want our leader to be. Fold that yarn in half and tie a square knot at the end to make it into one big loop. Next, we're going to attach our leader to our bobbin using what's called a lark's foot knot. Pass the loop that you've made underneath your bobbin. Pass one side of the loop over top the bobbin and through the loop on the other side. Pull that tight and you have your first lark's foot knot. But we're not done yet. If you tug on the leader, you'll find that it slides back and forth on the bobbin. When you start spinning a fresh bobbin, this can give you problems with traction. Instead of your yarn feeding onto the bobbin, your knot will just spin in circles around the bobbin. This is a super easy fix. You'll just want to tie a second lark's foot knot. This time when you pull it tight, there's enough friction to keep the yarn from spinning around the bobbin, and instead it will wind onto your bobbin properly. So to summarize, choose a leader yarn that is roughly the same thickness as the yarn you want to make. It doesn't matter what type of yarn it is. For most wheels, a 24 to 36 inch long leader is long enough to work with. Attach your leader with not one, but two Lark's Feet knots. And that's it, you're ready to spin. Thank you for watching, folks. If you found this video helpful, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. It'll let you know when we put out new content, and you can always check out our other videos on our YouTube page. Thank you.